Hey guys, I'm home. So, how was school? What are you working on? Hey Dad. Uh, well, I got A on my um, history. Okay. Yeah, so, hurrah. Hurrah. Well, you put a lot of work into it, so I expect those good grades from you. And what about you? How was your day? It was good. I have to raise earthworms. <laughs> you weren't kidding, were you? Not at all. <laughs> you were, what, in, in, in the dirt themselves? You're going to build a little worm farm? Yeah, I'm going to go get some night crawlers and buy a, a bin. Uh -huh. and, um, I'm going to get a whole bunch. I'm going to like have different containers and I'm going to feed them different stuff to see if certain foods affect their mating. So oh, do certain wow. foods affect their populations. You going to help them? <laughs> Uh, you don't like dealing with worms. <laughs> no. You know, you, you go. People are talking about well, how do you make money doing that. Well, if you ain't organized, if you're not keeping up with things, and if you actually have to understand the technology side as well, you people get lost in the sauce. So I always encourage people: look, play to your strengths, and if you love what you're doing, you'll always, always succeed. And if you love what you're doing and you're succeeding at it, the money will follow. It is. It is, it is really good. It's very thing. true. It's just that like. I actually rather be in the lab doing the hands on work. Well, see, and, yeah. and that's your passion. Yeah, and you've always I'd rather do your that. Passion. Yeah, but you know, everyone, everyone has their own niche. Yeah, yeah. And, and and it takes a lot of IQ to stay organized. Yeah. Trust me. I was gonna go back for my um, nursing and stuff from uh, RN. Okay. Yeah, just know we're we're going shopping, so we make that money, girl. Cause <laughs> <laughs> he's You're like, what country? Girl. What country are you going to today? <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, Belize. Uh, well, I guess that's not too bad. How many people go to Belize? None. In fact, uh, that's one of them. I haven't been to Belize. I have been to South America. The next place I want to go is Tahiti, though. I went to Peru with my own. Been there. Been there. It's yeah. So yeah. I was only in Lima. But oh, yeah. I was only there for uh, God, 24 hours. It was a quick turnaround on some business. Flew in, flew out, basically. But I, I like Lima. Everybody said, oh, you got to get down to the beaches. And you'll get about three-fourths of the way up. And you're like, okay, the air is thin. Your blood's getting a little thin. And you're like, okay, if I don't get a little oxygen, I'll pass out. Yeah, they have a little oxygen thing they give you at the airports and at So wait a minute, let me understand this. Now, when you get finished with college, where are you going? I'm going to apply to EVMS to get my MPH. MPH is Masters in Public Health, health. and the epi Epidemiology of the Yeah, right. And then I'm going to go get my PhD in Epidemiology. Okay. And start traveling, study diseases in different laboratories and households or different <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Disease. Yeah. Every disease. Right. Even cancer in America. You know, why is it so why is it such an epidemic now when thirty years ago it wasn't why? It's because in our food. <laughs> I think it's in Ooh. our food. And plus like stuff like and that's all like I was telling you with the eating habits yeah. and like now the if, air if and the, how you live in and everything's I wouldn't say everything's carcinogenic, but it does lend itself to over time deteriorating your health. Yeah. Um, I, you know, my wife, she does uh, doTERRA and some essential oils and things like that. You know, it's not part of a religion or anything, but it's part of a practical way of keeping yourself healthy. Yeah. It's, it's just every little thing you can do to be more natural, like your hair. Yes. Does help. Yeah. It absolutely does help. And you know, one thing I don't want to be is 75 and you know, having to call my son saying, man, come roll me out of the bed so I can, you know, go do whatever. But you guys are certainly on the right path. Certainly on the right path. And, that, and that's one thing that, you know, as a person of color, so many times we look at the Hollywood picture and we go, that's what we're supposed to be. And a lot of our younger generation, not necessarily you, but a lot of our younger generation, live down to those expectations. The advice I would have for younger black males of this generation is very simple. Number one, this may not be popular or politically correct, but you gotta put Jesus first. Second, you have to follow your own passions and dreams. Don't live down to the expectations set by others. Set your goals high and don't be afraid of failure. Success will follow if you follow your passions.